Hi guys, Mike back again with the next update for my Death Guard army. Right then, the next thing I want to build is a Predator. Now looking at the army lists in the big red book, um, you can go for the Predator Strike Squadron, Legion Predator Strike Squadron, which can be made up of three different Predator, three Predator tanks. And the uh, your, your set war gear is a Predator Cannon, Searchlight Smoke Launchers. So I picked up a um, a Predator from Forge World, a Legion Predator that is, and I will show you what we've got. So these are all the resin components you get in said kit. They've all been washed, they've all been degreased, etc. And you also get an entire Rhino um, with it, basically. So I have done some gluing and basically all you need from the Rhino kit is the two inner hull halves the well you don't even need that bit really because I mean it, I mean I don't know if it helps with the integrity of the actual chassis but anyway I've glued it in back door and the top oh, well, and clearly the the floor and that's it and it and it suggests that you build it up to this stage and then you start fitting the resin components onto it I um, need the tracks too but other than that, oh, smoke launches if you want to put them on. Uh, what else? Search light if you want to put it on. But again, you don't have to. So that's that. Um, weapon choices you get with the Legion kit. This is just the basic Predator kit you get from Forge World. There are different variations. And in my little Forge World guide here, let me see if I can find them relatively quickly. There is the Demos Pattern Predator, which is the one I've got. Demos Pattern Predator Executioner, that comes with the Plasma Executioner and the Heavy Conversion Beamer. Or the Demos Pattern Predator Infernus, which comes with the Magna Melter Cannon and the Flamestorm Cannon Turrets. So you get your different turrets. So with this one, you get Auto Cannon and Laz Cannon Turrets. Lovely. But when you come back to look in the book, Predator Cannon, so I'm assuming that's the Auto Cannon, who knows. But then it says, any Legion Predator may exchange, exchange its Predator Cannon for a Flamestorm Cannon, a Executioner Plasma Destroyer, Heavy Conversion Beamer, Magna Melter Cannon. There is no option here at all for the Twin Link Laz Cannon option. Yep, so you get the, the, the battle can you get the uh, yeah, you get the auto cannon and the Laz cannon turrets. So obviously there's my cannon and my twin link Laz cannon for the turret, and the turret is not an option for 30k at least anyway. So it, just as an aside, if you decide to buy the he says the Demos Pattern Predator, you've only got one turret option because you can't use the the Laz cannon. Legally, at least, anyway, there is no option for it. So that's fine. Sponson wise, we can take heavy bolters, heavy flamers, or las cannons, which is fine because in this kit you get heavy bolters times two and you get las cannons times two. So that's fine too. So that's just a little overview of the of the kit you get. I mean, from a from a uh, kind of quality perspective, very nice to be honest. You get your two your two halves of your external hull. So obviously they, they go on there like that, something like that at least anyway. And it all fits very nicely. There's a, your turret top there and your actual turret goes in there. And then your weapon of choice, lovely. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's no options. Well, there are, there are options. You could put things in, in these sections here. Um, and again, on traditional rhinos or razorbacks, you might put in um, like a storm bolter or hunter killer missile or uh, whatever other options or someone sticking out. But clearly, once the turret is on, that's going to not work out if you want any swivel on that cannon. So I'm going for predator cannon option, which is an auto cannon effectively. And the sponsons, I'm going for las cannons, because why not? <laughs> So that's just a little uh, little introduction to this kit. Um, basically, I'm just going to build it, paint it. I might show it to you after I've built it, 
up before I paint it. Uh, but we'll see how we go. So that's the next little project for the Death Guard Army. So any questions, query, questions, queries, comments, let me know, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Okay, guys, it's been a been a little while since I did the first part of the video compared to the second part of the video, but the Legion Predator for my Death Guard is finally finished, and uh, this is this is it. So um, just have a little tour around her, I suppose. So I'll just um, take the sponsy bits off so they don't fall off. Didn't bother painting the interior, just kind of undercoated it, just so there's a dark shadow in there, really, just, uh, you know, in case the turret comes off. <clears throat> but yeah, just gone for my rust effect, which I'm pretty pleased with, the way this has come out. I've magnetised the sponsons, and just done a bashed up, rusty paint job. Picked out all the, like, lens bits in blue, which is the common thing throughout my army. Rusted up and kind of put some weathering effects on the dozer blade the left side is the same as the right side and then load a rust effect on the back door and spotty grime and stuff on the bottom on the underside and then the top of the vehicle itself some green accents there's <coughs> a green stripe going up through here and some just some general grime and mess along there so that's that. Then the turret, again, picked out all the lenses, blue. Again, there's some green accents there, we could, just for Death Guard. <laughs> Kept the gun barrel quite clean, as with all the rest of my weaponry on the Death Guard stuff. Put a little uh, radar dish. So that's that. And then the sponsons, las cannons. So just picked out the cabling. Did a burnished effect on the barrels. Again, picked out the lenses in blue. Weapon casings are black <clears throat> or dark grey, as with the rest of my stuff. And just wanted to magnetise them. So they just magnetise on. And the turret just, um, yeah, I'm not going to bother magnetising it. There's quite a decent plug there. And that can just go on and swivel. So that's the finished finished tank finished predator so I'm pretty happy with that so that's it for this one that's the next death guard thing done <clears throat> I've actually finished finished my next Leviathan uh, and I'll just give you a quick look but I might do a proper video on this so this is the next one so again blue lenses just a common theme throughout the thing this one's got the siege uh, thing siege Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Siege Drill. And the uh, the other weapon, I can't remember the name of. <laughs> Melter Lance. And the, just picked out the cabling. So I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. I like this one. So anyway, I might do a little video on that after. Although you've just seen it anyway. So Okay. So that's it for Death Guard at the minute. I will uh, catch up with you and let you know what I'm doing next. But that's it for this one. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.